A picture has just surfaced of a juror from the Derek Chauvin trial. And this picture has a high probability of causing a mistrial. The photograph found from a Facebook post posted in August 2020 indicates that the juror may have been a Black Lives Matter activist. You don't need to look at that picture for long to realize that is definitely a Black Lives Matter supporter. Legal experts say that the juror would have been questioned before the trial about whether he participated in any BLM protests or was an activist. According to sources, the juror did claim that he had not attended any protests. If though it is found that he was not telling the truth, then a mistrial is highly probable. But let's be honest, this is huge news because at the end of the day, that's a biased juror. If he's a Black Lives Matter protester and supporter, they're extremists. Do you think there's any evidence that could be presented in the trial that could possibly change that man's mind to not guilty? To someone like that, it wouldn't matter what evidence was presented. He was going into it saying guilty, no matter what happened. That in itself is reason for a mistrial. So it looks like we have a possibility of a biased juror. A juror that went into the trial not caring about the evidence and had already made his mind up from the start. And as you probably know, it only takes one juror to change the entire outcome of a trial. You've got that compounded with the huge political pressure that was put on the jury. And considering that the jury deliberated for a measly 10 hours, it does make one wonder that maybe they had made their minds up from the start and didn't really care about the evidence. Whether they were a Black Lives Matter protester, like this guy, clearly, or maybe they simply feared for their lives. Altogether, it looks highly likely now that a mistrial could be possible. When we looked at Derek Chauvin's reaction to the result, he looked surprisingly calm. So maybe that's what he was thinking as well. Manslaughter charges seemed pretty obvious. A second and third degree murder decided in 10 hours, it is questionable. Flip it the other way around. If he was acquitted, and then it was found out that one of the jurors was a Blue Lives Matter protester, I think that story would be plastered all over the mainstream media. But not this story. No one's covered it, except for the Daily Wire, which is a conservative media outlet. Derek Chauvin's defense now has the right to ask the judge to go back and question the juror. The judge can then decide if the verdict will still stand. According to a civil rights attorney, they said of the photo that it is undeniably suggestive of a possible bias in this juror. But the main question is whether the juror lied about it. It's highly likely that the juror will now be questioned and then we will wait to see what the verdict is. We'll keep you updated here at Lifeline Media. We would love to hear your thoughts on the Derek Chauvin trial. Drop a comment whether you think it should be a mistrial or whether the original verdict should still stand. And for less than the price of a coffee, you can join our movement and community and get a ton of VIP goodies on Patreon. The link to become a patron is in the description to this video. And of course, remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any real news.